Hello, how are you people out there? Osta, Osta. Can you say Osta? Osta means fine or good in the Cherokee language. Osta. <laughs> there you go. Native American flute music. Been with us for thousands of years. So today, I'm going to play some of my most prized compositions on the Indian flute. My name's Tommy Wildcat, and I'm from the Cherokee Nation of Oklahoma. It's great to be here once again at the National Museum of the American Indian for our Cherokee Days, third annual, 2016. So here we go, folks. My most prized composition on the Indian flute, Warrior Flute. Ski. 
I want to say what all, which is thank you, and then you'll hear me say ski, that is thank you too, from our Cherokees and the Great Smoky Mountains of North Carolina. And so whenever I say what all and then ski, it'll be just thank you. So my, my, my next song is off of my Ajila Aniskaya album, which is called The Red Fire People. Gigi Ajila Askaya. So here we go, folks, the Red Fire People. So since we're on, uh, a uh, four, uh, four citizen by certificate degree of Indian blood of the Cherokee Nation, that means I'm a full blood Cherokee. I uh, have a lot of uh, my songs honoring and representing my heritage and uh, something that uh, very few people were doing for many years. So to promote our heritage and culture, you know, I. Uh, I uh, started playing flute music. So now I've been playing flute music for over 23 years. And my first, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, you know, dressing in sometimes buckskin or some uh, regalia over the years. And today I'm dressed in traditional trade cloth, 18th century trade shirt, uh, traditional Cherokee leggings and breech cloth and pucker toe moccasins. Um, this is a trade item, a gorget. Some people call it, call it a gorget, gorget, and um, but uh, in heritage and cultures all over the world, people use them for different reasons, mostly for dressing up and going to celebrations or meeting people. And uh, we made them out of clamshells and bones. But whenever the first European contact came, they seen that we enjoyed wearing them, so they started trading them. So this right here is a gorget. And then uh, traditional clay beads are found all over Cherokee country. All are excavated historical sites in Georgia, Tennessee, North South Carolina. They find clay beads in these excavation sites. So these are a great part of our ancient heritage too, passed down. So me and my mother make them. And uh, these are our clay beads. 
And this is my um, National Treasure Medal that you see me wearing. I um, uh, was honored the, the title bestowed in 2013. The Cherokee Nation uh, best bestows titles of national treasures who people have who've been doing their craft and art for um, well over years to perpetuate and uh, preserve and teach our heritage to our people and to the public. Uh, the United Kituwa Band, I believe their uh, national treasures are called Wisdom Keepers. And in the Great Smoky Mountains of North Carolina, our Eastern Band of Cherokees, they call their national treasures and Wisdom Keepers still the ancient words of the beloved women and the beloved men. So the, the, these are pretty much uh, honored medals of our people. And we have a few other national treasures here that have been doing their work for many years. So with that, folks, I'm going to play one of my songs for you that I've been playing for over 23 years. It's honoring the clan kinship of our Cherokee people, the matrilineal society that's passed down through the ladies' line. The children will take the clan name of their mothers, the bird, clan, deer, wolf, blue, paint, long hair, and the wild potato clan. So here we go, folks. My oldest song of my repertoire.
Hello. It's key. All right. I want to play one of my latest compositions on the on my flute, which is uh, a song that I just uh, been uh, playing for about a year. And uh, I was talking to the Secretary of State one day over at Cherokee Nation Complex, our main building in northeastern Oklahoma. And I told him I put a song up on YouTube, uh, not YouTube, but uh, on Facebook. And um, I said, uh, I haven't really named it yet, but I've been playing for about a year. And then most of the time I promote uh, Cherokee words and heritage. And I usually say uh, what our elders say all of the time when somebody does good or something is good. They usually tell somebody, Osta, meaning you did good. And one of our former chiefs, uh, Councilman Joe Bird, had uh, told the bicycle riders, the, remo the removal riders, that um, uh, our elders say Osta when somebody does good. So riders, you did good. And, uh, and that's all over Cherokee communities, all over northeastern Oklahoma, that we say that, Osta. And I told the Secretary of State, Chuck Hoskins, Jr., that I said, I know a name for my song. I'm going to call it Osta. It's my newest composition. So I'm going to play that song for you right now. I see our next group is coming up real fast here. So with that, folks, I'm going to leave you with them. And don't go ahead. Sonala. I'll see you tomorrow.